Hi, I'm at a construction site in the Gion Festival neighborhood, and this is how much people love the Gion Festival. They've decorated the construction site with silhouettes of the floats and of traditional architecture. It's really fun to go around town and see um, all the different ways that the city celebrates the Gion Festival and different um, companies and so on. They'll put out um, folding screens that depict the Gion Festival or they'll put out antique wheels as a symbol of, of the festival. There's one of those in the subway station. Here's the thing though is that there's not necessarily supportive regulation to conserve the traditional architecture for example in, in the Gion Festival neighborhoods. Um, there's a very high inheritance tax in Japan that was introduced by the American military after World War II that was to prevent um, a kind of oligarchy from forming but an unintended consequence was that most of the people who live in these historic homes can't afford to pass them on to the children because the inheritance tax is so high. I met one person here who managed to hang on to the family home but had to sell all of the family treasures, for example. So it's an interesting dance, you know, how can we, oh gosh, provide, provide support for culture to continue um, into, into the modern era, this, this culture that we profess to love so much. What, what can each of us do to support its sustainability and support its generative qualities into the future? Um, I invite you to have a think about that because it's going to take everybody to figure this out. Every country is facing this problem today. Uh, stay tuned for more and um, learn more about this on these topics on gamefestival.org.